For more information on real estate in Palos Verdes, California, go to www.homeispalosverdes.com. sales index today. This is for the month of March, and it's up nicely both uh, month over month and year over year. Uh, the buyers are coming into the market. So the uh, March figure, uh, which is up uh, by double-digit gain from March of last year, uh, is implying that the second quarter will also be very good in terms of closing activity. The first quarter, which already finished, was the best first quarter in five years, and now the pending sales contract signing is implying that second quarter will be just as good. And the, uh, the inventory levels are coming down a little bit. I think that they're around six months now. Does that mean that inventories are back to normal? Uh, six months, uh, it used to be consistent at that level uh, rather than one or two months of uh, situation. So let's see if it can remain at six months for consistently. Uh, then it would correlate with prices stabilizing or even some minimal price uh, increases. Um, and the existing inventories are about five, six-year low levels. Uh, it's been moving, healing. Uh, um, even the REO inventory has been falling. The shadow inventory is still there, but is lower today than what it was one year ago. And the newly constructed home inventory is at a 50-year low. So the builders need to start uh, bringing new uh, construction into the market. Uh, right now, that's not the case. Uh, many of the small-time builders, which interestingly in, in the aggregate comprise usually about 80% of new home building activity, they are shut out of the market because of the very difficult construction loan availability. So it's the big builders like Toll Brothers, Lennar, uh, MVR, which are taking advantage of the stock prices, uh, the bond issuance. They have better access to capital uh, to build. So right now you have a situation where the big builders are getting into the market, but the larger component in the aggregate, small-time builders are shut out, uh, but with low inventory, we need to have more building activity beginning to occur. We have inventories coming down, and so you expect prices to stabilize. <clears throat> but the, uh, the Case-Shiller Index, it still shows prices are going down. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, Case-Shiller price data is a very good metric. It's an elegant me measure, but it's a uh, long-lagging uh, indicator. Uh, the latest data that was uh, published is for February, January, December average, which means that the contract signing activity is probably around September, October uh, time period when people negotiated the contract. Uh, we are today late April. Kay Schiller is reporting what happened September, October of last year, so it's a huge lagging indicator. Uh, the data is very good, and I think it will be good for academics to study what has happened in the past, looking at the various housing cycle uh, analysis. But for consumers who are interested in the turning point of the market, uh, I would say that even very simple measure like listing price movement uh, will be a very good early indicator about what's happening to the prices because uh, we have seen uh, in places like Miami and Phoenix six months ago, uh, eight months ago, that the listing prices were moving up very nicely. And now we are seeing median prices in Miami and Phoenix rising. Uh, and I think soon Case Schiller will show that prices are rising in Phoenix and Miami. So for people who are looking for turning points, early indicator uh, listing price uh, changes uh, could be a very good sign. Don't forget, for more information on Palos Verdes real estate, go to www.homeispalosverdes.com. Thank you very much.